Today, Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano was approved as the next University of California president, and she will be the first female president of the Tan Campus College System. Not everybody is happy about that. As Cronfor's John Finolio reports, protesters were on the scene today. Here at UCSF, some students are not happy about the appointment of Janet Napolitano as the new president of the UC system. Napolitano, of course, being the former Homeland Security Secretary. And while protests today remained largely peaceful, at one point, they got way out of hand. Tackled to the ground and cuffed, students who disobeyed police orders to vacate the UCSF Conference Center during the confirmation meeting for soon-to-be UC President Janet Napolitano. Police were surrounded him and captured him, put on the ground, and in the chair, he hit the chair. Students were protesting Napolitano's record of deportation and border enforcement under the Obama administration. I can't be inside protesting, especially because of Janet Napolitano's program, Secure Communities. If I go inside and I'm arrested, I accrue a criminal record. And according to her, those are the only people that Secure Communities targets, but it is not. And I just don't want to put myself in the situation where everything I've worked are you on... Saying, are you saying that you're undocumented? Yes, I am undocumented. I'm undocumented and I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of Janet Napolitano, but I am afraid to get deported. In total, six students were arrested at today's demonstrations and one was taken to the hospital. It looked like he had some blood um, coming from him. He was injured. Uh, today was a very tough day because the UC regents did not seem that responsive to their own students and it did appear that they ushered out the public after they spoke out. Now as part of Napolitano's employment package, she'll be making over $570,000 per year. She'll also be receiving over $150,000 in moving allowance and of course she'll have free housing. Napolitano will be the first female to run the UC system. Reporting from San Francisco, John Finolio, Cron 4 News.